Hello, happy New Year's Eve. Uh, I just need to get ready for lunch today, um, but it is the end of the year and I wanted to come on and tell you everybody who is in my group and one of my customers or my supporters, even for likes, for you sharing, I just wanna say thank you. So thank you so much for supporting my small little business. Um, I really just do it because I love the makeup and I love sharing and probably more than that, this is very selfish. It's a creative outlet for me. And so um, just being able to hop on, do videos, play with makeup, that's probably my favorite thing. So I just wanna tell everybody, thank you so much for your support this year. And I'm really excited for 2024. The artist birthday is coming up and there's new releases that I am so excited about. Also, the um, it's January, is it, oh, 17th or 18th, you will get more information. If you've ever wondered or have a small inkling of wanting to be um, an artist to join my team, my team is doing a Zoom, I believe on the 14th. It's zero pressure, like we will not contact you after, but if you want to know any information, um, let me know. I'll send you the Zoom link and you can come ask any questions or you could be a fly on the wall with a black screen on the Zoom, <laughs> mic off, video off, and just listen. Um, so you let me know if you join on the artist's birthday like I did. This is gonna be my second year, my two year anniversary. Um, you get a artist, a pro palette for free, and you also get a ticket for free to Saints um, next virtual conference. So I'm really excited about that. And it's such a magical time to join because all these other artists join and it's just everyone's excited and you get so much support. So I'm gonna stop talking about it, but if you want more information, you let me know. Um, it's probably one of the most fun things I've ever done. Um, there has always ups and downs, um, but it's just like for me personally, I have gained friends that I never knew that I needed um, and just support, daily support. Like every single day I talk to my friends and my saint sisters. And so if you wanna join, let me know. All right, I'm gonna do just an eyeshadow look. I already have all my face on. I'm wearing Jolene, which is like a scary orange. I'm gonna show you but it's so cute. I actually had plum on before and then I'm like, I need some orange because I was cold and needed to put a sweater on. And so I put Jolene, which seems like the scariest color ever. She's cute. She's cute. So I think she on sale the last day today. I should know that. Anyways, cleaning my brush. My last eyeshadow brush I did, I did not clean my brush thoroughly. And what I thought was brown was more of a pink red because my brush was dirty. I was like, oops. Anyways, I'm gonna go into Chai, which is this really, I mean, obviously a favorite. Favorite, look at that. It's like, I've hit bottom of the tin, very much so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start brushing her on. I have already put my brightening highlight on my lid and then I took our vanilla dust setting powder and I set it and now I'm ready to go. Okay, my eyes have been more hooded lately. They're just, duh. <laughs> I keep going to work. I'm like, you can't see my eyeshadow at all. Like why even put it on? And so I'm really having to like concentrate, like keep my brush vertical here and keep my eye like real like lazy. <laughs> put the color up high so that when my eyes are open, I'm talking, you could see the color. So I'm gonna keep it mo mostly on this outer corner. Just kind of some circles. There we go. You could even bring it to the bottom side. Kind of opens your eye up. Go back into chai, get my other eye. And at first I just kind of plop it right there in the corner. Place that product there. Most of the product will go there. And then once you have it, you can do your little small circles, your little windshield wipers to start blending it out. Okay, like I said, I noticed that I need to start concentrating it higher so that you could actually see the color, which it feels really weird. It feels like I'm going to my brow. But because my eyes are starting to get so much of a hood, whenever I do anything in my crease, it's disappearing. So a little bit higher, focus it mostly on the outside, bring it below. Okay, so that's try. It's literally just to kind of define and kind of like contour my eyes. Like I put contour on my cheeks, 
I'm using this color just to kind of give my eye shape. And now my other colors will blend better. I'm gonna go, because I'm wearing an orange, I'm gonna go into Bubba, such a pretty orangey brown. And it's pretty much gonna go in the same places. Just kind of deep in that corner a little bit more. Probably not as high as the chai did, but it's just gonna kind of warm up my eyes. And I'm more of like a neutral cool, and so sometimes I need the warmth so I don't look like a skeleton. All right, there we go. This is gonna be real quick and easy. I'm gonna bring some below. This is that same warm brown, Bubba. There we go. Okay, what shimmer do I want? I'm gonna go into Riviera. Do you see that's like a perfect, it is New Year's Eve. Let's go into that. Shimmers, people, use your finger. You're gonna get such a better payout than your brush. Unless you want a lighter shimmer, then you could use your brush. But I'm just gonna literally tap, oop, I just went into Angel Landing. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> Which is a bigger fleck kind of shimmer but it's pretty. Okay, so back to Riviera, middle to inner corner. Just tap it on, I'll get some angel landing on top. But that like the shimmer glitter, that's angel's landing. Isn't that pretty? Okay, once I'm done with that, I'll go back into, I'm gonna go back into Chai, my first eyeshadow color, and I just blend this out. Same thing. All right, I'm gonna go to my favorite brush for eyeshadow. It's like my everyday's eyeshadow brush, but the smudge brush, there's nothing like it. So I'm gonna use the smudge brush. I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. I'm gonna go into Drift. Drift is much lighter. Tap into that. I'm just gonna brighten the inner corner more. Just like that. Kind of bring it up into this little arch right here. It really will help to open my eyes. And then I'm gonna go right below. I'm not gonna get the whole hood and shimmer. You don't wanna do that. As you get more hooded eyes, you wanna keep it higher. And then this is also just gonna help to blend out the eyeshadows that I put on. Okay. You can get your inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna deepen the corners or the outside a little bit because I want to. I'm gonna go into oak right here, tap, and just kind of on the outside corner. Tap on this side. So first I'm just gonna place the color and then it's actually a lot. So I'm gonna clean my brush and then go in to blend. I'm just gonna kind of stipple. But you can see how it just brings a little bit more to the eye look. It elevates it a bit. Okay. Bring it below. Oh my goodness, football's on downstairs. I could hear it. I actually grew up a Niners fan. My husband's a Bears fan. And I just like cute sweaters. <laughs> Do I care? I mean, let's just say the 49ers and the Bears were playing 49ers all the way. If the Bears are playing anybody else, the Bears. All right. Some eyeshadow, or I mean some eyeliner. I can never get away from a little bit of a wing. I mean, I'm going to, whatever. Who cares? Do what you do. Do what you like. Just a little bit on the top. I really just kind of concentrate it on the outside. This is an eyeliner that I have used forever. It's cheap. I love that I don't have to sharpen it. It's black. And what is it? CoverGirl Ink It. I have used this forever. And it's really forgiving. So if I want more of a up wing, you just you take your finger and you just do that and you're good to go. Liquid liner kind of scares me. <laughs> All right. And then I'll get my waterline. Sorry, I always know this is creepy looking. 
just to make my little baby eyelashes look a little bit thicker, a little bit longer. We'll keep it at that. Okay. Okay. If you've been looking for an eyeshadow, okay, I've had this voluminous primer, is it L'Oreal? Forever. And then I went and did someone's makeup and she had this Morphe one and it's blue, but it's like a mascara primer. This stuff's incredible. It can make it a little, what's the word? Like thick. So sometimes I have like this little eyelash separator thing and it'll get out if there's any clumps or anything, but it's really pretty, but I'm not doing anything today. Whoa, I'm not doing anything today. So we're just gonna stick with the Pump It Up Maggie. I get this from Red Aspen and yeah. All right, so what are you guys doing for New Year's? Usually my husband and I will kind of stay up. Our kids, it'll be like 7 p.m. and we'll like go get like New York's or when, obviously when New York's, um, the ball drops or Sydney or some other place, okay? And we do a fake ball drop, people. It'll be like 7 p.m. <laughs> we give our kids like a paper plate, a wooden spoon, and we're like, hey, you guys ready for the ball drop? Oh, and then they run around the house hitting it. Oh my goodness. So that's pretty much our plans. Do it early. My husband and I used to kind of like, we'll fall asleep on the couch and then I'll set an alarm for like 11.50. There's been years we've missed it. <laughs> I just have never really been big into, I don't know, New Year's. So anyways, all right, that is the face. I'm gonna put a little bit of, I had Angel's, Angel Illuminator, but of course I can't find it. Dang it. Um, oh, here it is. Illuminator time. I don't know why. I've just been loving this really. Angel, usually rose gold is my girl. Angel is like a softer, prettier pink, and I've been just feeling it lately. So this is the blend brush. I just tap into it, and I just tap on top of the cheeks, but the glow is so pretty. It is so pretty. You get your lips, you get the tip of your nose. But Angel Illuminator is really pretty. Now, I don't have like the best skin. Anyways, <laughs> it is what it is. But my skin just feels and looks like so much more youthful. I feel like it's aging a lot quicker than I would like. And the cream foundation is where it's at. All right, this is the It cosmetics, just brow pencil. I think it's in taupe. I don't even know. And I'm just doing some flicks. I don't spend too long on my brows, obviously. And then I flip it over and brush it out. All right. I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Let me know in the comments, what are you doing tonight? Do you stay up? Do you not stay up? Are you a baby like me? Because, mm. all right, I am ready. Uh, once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all, if you've made it to this end, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. And I wish you the most happiest new year possible.